Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? You're looking at my playing card, card ephemera drawer. <laughs> so welcome to my channel. I uh, hope you're doing well today. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I've been doing uh, one of these little organizing videos the last few weeks. I was going to take you along with me on the journey of cleaning out this drawer and organizing it, but as you can see, there is a lot in here, but I have, uh, I had bought some in my last like thrifted treasures video. I had got some new, uh, playing cards and they would not fit in here. So, uh, my objective and my goal on cleaning out this drawer was to consolidate and to get those cards, those new cards in here. So I had two ideas besides organizing. I was going to probably maybe make some piles of, you know, varieties of cards that I could share in my Etsy shop. You know what I mean? So uh, this is the result of cleaning up my drawer. Uh, so I just wanted to share it so that if you needed ideas on how to clean out your, you know, and store your playing cards, if you have as many as I do, and these aren't all playing cards, so I'll tell you what they are right real quick and how I organized it. This pile right here is playing cards. Okay, so these are all the little boxes like this that you get, the double packs of playing cards. That's what's all in this whole pile all the way down. You can see how deep my drawer is here. So it's a pretty good uh, amount of playing cards that's in this pile. This pile is another pile of playing cards, and so they're like singles, and then right here also singles and underneath there there's some more double packs too in the back here i put uh like picture cards and kind of like there my candy lane cards are back there and just other cards in boxes that fit back into this corner so they're mostly my picture cards back there so when i go in here when i say i want a certain kind of card and go here for game cards I can go back there for pictures and candy land. Uh, here in this back corner, I have all my flashcards now. So I have pretty much all my flashcards. I have big, big more bit boxes of flashcards in the back. I have like three big boxes of flashcards. You know, they're kind of long and and kind of larger than the rest. Here, this pile is smaller flashcards, and that's what all that is down to the bottom of the drawer. Here, I have some postcards. So these are not you know, playing cards or flashcards, but they are cards. So I went ahead and kept them in here. I have, I don't really have anywhere else to put them. So all of this from the very side over here to right about, let me see here and right about, let's see, these are playing cards here. So right about right here, this part of it is all postcards all back to here. Some of these are postcard books that I've gotten at at thrift stores and you know so that's what that is and then right here these are bigger cards like it's a variety right here some big playing cards some other playing cards that are big you know but they are on their side here's some more cards that are kind of big so these are all kind of big playing cards and cards right here in the front of the postcards there's some bigger flash cards that I couldn't fit in the back so um, though, but those are all on their side so that I can come in here and kind of pull out what I need, you know what I mean, without taking a whole pile out. Now the back's going to be a little harder to get into, yes, but that's the only way I could get everything in here was to make piles, but at least I know what's back there. Like before they were kind of mixed up. So like these I can see. This middle pile was already like this and I kind of added to it. There's some mini playing cards here, playing single packs, and other varieties of cards all the way to the front of the drawer here. So, but these I can see, uh, you know, because they're on their side. These I can see they're on their side. And the others that are not on their side, I know what's in that, you know, what they're categorized. So playing cards, picture cards and word cards back there, flash cards. So, I wanted to share that little organizing uh, video with you this week, but also while I'm here, I'll show you uh, the couple of the packs if I can. I don't know if I can do this when I'm holding the camera, but here's 
you know, they're all playing cards, as you can see. That's the number side. And then here's the back sides of, they're all pretty, I guess I can just share them this way, kind of just, these are all pretty much the same. I think the only difference is I didn't have enough of this one black one here. I didn't have enough of those for all of the piles. But just to uh, get some of these out of my drawer and make me a little bit of room here, I thought I'd go ahead and make eight. I made eight piles. So I'm going to have eight available ready to go. And if they all sell quickly, I'll make some more so I can make some more room in, <laughs> in this drawer. Because you can see I have plenty more to share. I got plenty more of those cards except for that one black card. Um, I have more of all of these cards in this pile, pretty much. So I'll be able to make some more car more piles pretty quickly. But these are just, you know, kind of a de-stash for me to help me just, you know, get some cards out of my drawer so I'd have room for my new cards. And, you know, get myself a little bit more organized here. So, um... They're going to go in my shop as soon as I get them listed, and they're just going to be, I mean, they're probably just going to be like a dollar per, you know, a dollar per set. I mean, it's, it's a D-stash, so they're going to be cheap. <laughs> and then they're going to be a little bit of shipping, maybe another dollar, so that would be a total of two dollars per sh per um, pile. And, uh, you know, I'll just mail them in an envelope, so, the cheap, you know, when I put cheap shipping on it like that, it's got to be uh, first class mail uh, with no tracking. So I'll just put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it, and it'll be on its way. But uh, yes, yeah, so just to let you know what's going on with the car playing cards here, this is my organizing video for this week and a little D stash. So hope you enjoyed that. And I will get these listed as soon as possible, and I will. See y'all next time, probably later today, with a little bit of a share on some journals I'm working on. So I'll see you later, and happy crafting and happy organizing. Thank you.